Over the last section, we've introduced you to a lot of new tools for you to use with your microcontroller. First, we went over the concept of a digital input and how they lend themselves naturally to the binary numbers, the zeros and ones, that microcontrollers work with. Next, we looked at how the P1.1 push button switch worked and how to configure a microcontroller to successfully read the switch status, pressed or not pressed. Once we understood how the push button worked, we introduced two new instructions from the C programming language, if and else. With these two instructions, we were able to develop programs with branches for our microcontroller based upon information from the real world. We then looked at the different relational operators that the C programming language uses to determine how two values are related. We noted that we have to be particularly aware of the equals equals operator, as it is the root cause for many of the C programming errors. Finally, we wrapped up the section with a tutorial on connecting additional switches and LEDs to the microcontroller. Up next, we have our third quiz of the class. Then, our next big section will let us see what is actually inside of our microcontroller and how the different parts work together. Thanks for watching.